Yo, what's happening, man? It's your boy Reconcile. You already know what it is, Frontline Movement. This year I'm gonna be dropping that sacrifice. Make sure you get it, homie. Reconcile, man. Uh, I remember just, you know, God was rocking my world, man. And I was looking through the Bible. There's a scripture saying God would use us for the ministry of reconciliation that you bring, bring, bring creation back to God, man. And uh, he had done that with my life. And so it just really resonated with me, connecting me, man. I just wanted to live my life to see people connect back with God and be reconciled. So reconciled, man. Yeah. Sacrifice, man. When you, when you, think, about, when you think about sacrifice, I remember when I was coming up with, well, what I'm going to call this? And uh, sacrifice just, just kept punching me in the, in the chest. It's like, man. My, my living situation at the time, man, finances were tough. You know what I'm saying? I was going through a lot of stuff where I had to sacrifice my marriage. You know, I needed to sacrifice and do more there. And just like, kept constantly coming up, man. If you're gonna live for Jesus, you're gonna have to sacrifice. You might have to suffer and you have to sacrifice, but it's worth it. And then when you, when you think about, man, all that, that Jesus has done for us, you know what I'm saying? You know, what, what would your life's response be to the sacrifice that he's made? And so that's kind of the tone I wanted to take with the album. I wanted to communicate that. Uh, one of the things I, like, I, I hope that people see in this album is that uh, it's, it's, it's really reflective. I don't, want, I don't want it to take the spirit of like, man, it's, it sounds like I'm, I'm talking at people about things that they should fix, but it's more of like, you know, look at some things that I, that I, that I struggle with and how God fills those holes and then all my ratchetness and brokenness that he's still there, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, a sacrifice. Uh, I think one thing that's going to be different about I think it's better. I think it's, con it's consistently getting better. I feel like uh, the storytelling's stronger. I feel like, um, you know, some of the things that we tried to tackle um, in doing it, just, uh, you know, the, the type of production that we were taking on. It's really like, uh, it's hardcore, man, it's good. Like the, the uh, one thing I, that I, I hope that we tried to make a difference from the last project is that, uh, you know, we really wanted to make sure that it was mixed well and mastered well, you know what I'm saying? That, that comes with money, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have bread, it's, it's hard to do those things. But, it's just, I feel like we, we stepped it up in every area and we try to really hone down on the details, uh, you know, to do a good job, yeah. Consistency. Man, so uh, on the album, we got uh, Mr. Incredible, of course, Mr. Incredible, Mr. Never Would've Made It. We got Incredible on the album. Uh, we got uh, Juice, Big Juice on the album, and there's a lot of gang of dudes. One thing I, I think is cool that we did with the album is, man, we reached out to a lot of producers, um, and a, a lot of them in city, in the city of Houston. And a lot of them were broad, man, and we just, you know, you know, we just upfront about the type of music that we were doing. You know, we loved the stuff that they had did. We said, hey, man, you know, um, this is what we do. Um, and so, with the whole Christian secular thing, like, we just, we just squashed it by saying, hey, man, we're gonna make music for the Lord. This is who we are. This is what it's about. We would love to do work with you, and that's how we just continue to build relationships. And it's dope because dudes would be like, yo, man. Like even if they're making beats for Ross, they would hit a joint and be like, yo, that is hard, man. I really respect that. You know, I love that. You know, people aren't doing that. And I feel like they were challenged by it as well. So it was dope, man. I, I know some, some producers, you wouldn't think that, you know, certain things are going on in their life. You call them up and they're like, yeah, let me hit you back, man. I'm in church. You're like, oh, this dude goes to church. So that's what was, that was dope about different, some of the different producers working on it. Some dope features on it too, man. Yeah, yeah, so. Y'all see it a little bit, just, just know we got some tight stuff on it, man. Your boy, John Gibbs. The boy is a beast, dude. Check that boy out, John Gibbs. Oh my goodness, dog. Bruh, bruh, let's go. <laughs> Reconcile, sacrifice, May 20th. That's May 20th. Make sure you get that, homie. Let's, 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 let's be challenged to live for the Lord. Make a sacrifice. Yeah.